Did you know that March marks the beginning of Colon Cancer Awareness Month? Among cancers that affect both men and women, colorectal cancer, which is cancer of the colon or rectum, is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States. I'm Dr. Kenneth Brown, a board certified gastroenterologist. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death. Every year, more than 140,000 Americans are diagnosed with colorectal cancer, and more than 50,000 people die from it. And getting a colonoscopy can actually prevent colon cancer. It's a fact. Colon cancer screening saves lives. It just so happens that it's my turn for a colonoscopy. Because of my age and family history, I need a colonoscopy. If everyone followed the screening guidelines, meaning getting a colonoscopy when you turn age 50 or older, or starting at age 40, if there's a family history, then many of these deaths could be avoided. I thought that we would film everything and show everybody what it's actually like. It's not that big of a deal. My goal is to bring a little bit of awareness about colon cancer, and I also hope that at least one person sees this video, and if they are encouraged to schedule their colonoscopy, then this will be worth it. We're gonna walk you through the whole process. My goal today is to show everybody how easy this whole process actually is. If somebody were to see this, and they actually are thinking about getting a colonoscopy, they'll realize it's just not that big of a deal. So in a few moments, we're gonna go into the room, and you're gonna be able to see my colonoscopy and the whole process that actually happened. So we're about ready to get started here. Um, I did want to mention one thing. I'm going to do my procedure without any anesthetic, and that's just so that I can talk to everybody and explain what's actually going on. But I do want to let everybody know that all of our patients actually go to sleep, and it is a completely painless process. In my case, I've chosen to do it this way. So let's go meet my colleague, Dr. Arshad Malik, who's actually going to be doing my colonoscopy. This is Arshad Malik. He's my colleague that I've chosen to do my colonoscopy today. We're going to be looking for polyps. If you do find any polyps, will you be able to take them out? This is a biopsy channel that we can insert instruments through to be able to remove polyps, cut polyps, to do all kinds of maneuvers while we're in there. Will it hurt when you do that? The colon doesn't have traditional nerve endings. It doesn't respond to being cut, so you're not going to have any pain when we remove the polyps. So the colonoscopy is actually not just a diagnostic procedure, it can be both diagnostic and therapeutic. Might be real bloated afterwards? We actually use carbon dioxide instead of just normal air when we're opening up your colon, when we're blowing it up. So you may have minimal bloating afterwards, but you shouldn't have any pain or discomfort. Perfect. Well, I tell you what, I don't want to make you late. Let's go ahead and get started here. Let's see what we can do. All right. Sounds great. Vitals look good. My team's ready. We're just waiting on Dr. Malik, and we're going to get started here in just a second. So one of the concerns that a lot of patients have, or at least patients that have told me, is that they always say, well, I don't want you looking at my butt. As you look at this, we take modesty very seriously, and all eyes are going to be on this screen over here. The most important thing is that everyone looks at the screen, not at the patient's bottom. So we keep everybody covered up, and then once we get started, all eyes are going to be on that camera. So contrary to what people think, nobody even looks at the bottom down here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Dr. Brown's awake for this. Patients will be sedated by this point, so they're not going to experience any discomfort, okay? And at this point, all we're doing is we're gently maneuvering the scope and working our way in towards the, towards the end of the colon. We can see the walls of the colon really, really well, which is what we want. We want to be able to get just a perfect look at the walls so that we can really be sure that we're looking at everything. We inflate the colon, but we also periodically deflate the colon to keep it as comfortable as possible for our patients so that they don't have any gas or bloating or discomfort after we're done. So now you're going to take your time, come back, and this is where we're really going to start looking for polyps. All of that little blood vessels, that's normal, that's the way it should be. So even without anesthesia being wide awake, it's really not that uncomfortable at all. And it really is not that big of a deal. This is a life-saving procedure. About one in four people make polyps. This is a life-saving procedure, as Dr. Brown said. If you find a polyp, then remove the polyp, you're actually preventing cancer from developing. We always talk about colon cancer as being the second leading cause of cancer death. We essentially have a cure for the second leading cause of cancer death, which is doing exactly this, a colonoscopy. We always tell our patients, 
the most important part of doing this is getting a good prep. Dr. Brown, good job with your prep. All right, appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Oh, and Dr. Malik, uh, I'm going to do your colonoscopy next week, okay? You got it. All right. <laughs> Take care. So we just finished up. I hope this shows that getting a colonoscopy is just not that big of a deal. And I encourage you, if you see this video, to share it with other people. If you have any other questions, please go to my website at kennethbrownmd.com.